welcome back to the channel i'm king of bad in today's video we're back playing in cool and naughty uh i say that weird there's always like a weird pause at the end and well, like when i go back and edit it i noticed that pause but anyways we're back playing in cool and naughty uh i can't remember, i don't, didn't say anything i haven't even put out the last video yet so i don't got shit else really to mention uh we're gonna continue where we left off um i'm trying to remember beast battle or wild beast encounter which i can't remember remember to bring five beasts boredom does not apply in these types of battles you will also get a chance to win a quill which i definitely need with my zero he drain uh tiny and kulinati's face off against the wild beast be careful they will regain health when they drain all right i'm gonna go with this one then and it really doesn't matter necessarily what i bring in because well not matter what i bring in but uh, I don't have to worry about the boredom on these characters. I have these two that I haven't tried out yet, and I definitely want to now. And I haven't really tried out the Bishop Cat, or if I did, I don't remember it too much. So I'll bring in Bishop Cat uh, for their healing. Probably going to bring in one of these in each battle at least, or one of these three. But at the very least, one of these two. Uh, the donkey might come in later as well. I'm not really sure where I want to fit the donkey in with these teams. But that's range, melee, and they both attack multiple units at one excuse me, at once. Do we, does he have a heretic? Nothing he has can be oh wait, are these immune to anointed beast deal double damage to heretics? Alright, never mind. I'm glad I checked that. All of them are anointed? Every single thing he has is anointed. All right, let me adjust what I'm finna do then. Bring out these foxes and get going. If, if I'm if I'm reading that right, uh, bleeding right, bites, uh, vulnerable to anointed attacks. Oh, I read that wrong. Okay, so I want to bring in. Maybe I want to bring in more characters that are anointed. Swap out. You do, oops, what does it say? You do how much damage per hit? One to three, and you do two to three, two to four. I don't know if I'm reading this right. Maybe I'm not. Uh, spear attack. It's nothing that I just remember the amount of damage that they do either. Another rabbit, like they have a decent amount. Four to six seems right. All right, anyways, I'll take that in. It's lower damage, but it is also per hit. So technically it's three to nine damage. If if all of them land on one, that's three. All of them land on three, that's nine. Yeah, I confused myself trying to say that. Okay, don't need the heretics, or don't need the foxes as much. Save those for, oh, wait, no, that's never mind. That's a sword. No, they have the same cost. For the most part, depending on their unit, I'll take the dog in. Uh, or no, fuck it, I'll bring a rabbit and bring one of the OGs and go in. All right, I'm already on fucking fire. Uh, we got Gus. Oh, everyone's gonna be out immediately. I can pass through that door. I'm gonna start off by moving you. So, well, I gotta start off by moving you. I could. I can't get there and push. It has 13 health. One to five. Is this melee arranged? Melee, okay. Well, close range, it looks like. One to two spaces. I probably should just stay where I was then at that point. Not what I expected them to never mind. Makes sense. Oh, uh, I don't have my character to do anything with either. The furthest you can get it there, furthest you could have gotten was there. And can we shoot over these? Probably not. Uh, you cannot attack that. Okay, well, there you go. Also, turn that back off. I can get up there and attack down with the rabbit. It doesn't look like I'm really going to be able to avoid this fire. So I'm going to just have to deal with it. They're already asleep for now. 
but they're almost certainly gonna move on their next turn. I forgot how low the health for some of these characters are. Like it's 12, 13 max, which just feels a little different than stuff in the, what the fuck? Oh, you throw fire, okay. Um. Oh yeah, I hope you move here. You can reach that. Real fast dexterity attack. <laughs> I just hit the one creature though, so maybe I didn't do it right, or maybe it does only hit one at a time and I read that wrong. Which isn't a pause. Oh, wait. You can put. What? Hold up. First of all, what's going on in your mouth? It looks to. Hell's Maw moves every chapter, but Brodra's attack up to two fields away or one level away can only be used on a target standing on Fire Spark, which I wasn't. Uh, on fire spark kills instantly. Yeah, I wasn't standing on a fire spark, so I don't know why that killed me immediately. Because it was just one, uh, attacks in the adjacent field and forces the target to take a nap. Don't know what the fuck you just hit me with to get an insta kill. I don't think that's fire. It doesn't look like it is, but here we are now. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't. Even, I didn't even notice the background was different. Hang on a second. Yeah, I got us on like, I guess some coals. I think we're finna lose though. If we do lose, like I said, I'll just restart uh, and catch up to where I was. And then hopefully that goes better than what we had now. And then everyone's gonna take a bunch of damage. This mob being where it is, is really what an issue, one of the uh, main issues here. But can you get there and push? You can. So go push him. He's gonna stop. Nah, he's gonna go through the door. All right. No. All right. You move here. Push. Wait. You can stand in the door space. Well, now I'm really finna get fucking pissed. I kind of thought that's what it was saying, but I still wasn't sure. I should have pushed bro out the way, but you can get out of here with your insta kill shit or whatever. Hey, that helps me out because I also want to use somebody else's turn to uh to move him in a second. All right, you can go up here and throw. That's going to hit everyone in there. Yeah, hold up a second. So I couldn't hit the door last time. Maybe it was out of range. Maybe it was out of range. I'll take that back. But, uh, nah, yeah, now it's going to say I can hit three targets in that area. It does look like it is one attack will hit three targets. But the last time I did it, it didn't hit the door as well, which is why I'm mentioning this shit. All right, we got three to take out and we're down to our last two and the last one. All right, we're definitely losing this fight. Really, because bro insta-killed one of the targets, and I'm still not sure if he should have been able to. Okay, we got we get two health back every turn. But honestly, there's really not much else we can do, because only one of those has to walk up, and it's pretty much dead. But all three of them are finna do it anyways. Yeah, so if I attack this space... Yeah, it has me attacking both of them. So I'm still confused on why it didn't have me hit both the last time. Doesn't matter because I usually don't attack the doors at the moment. But I think, yeah, that attack's going to kill it. So, uh, I accept this loss, but not your superiority. You will never beat me. Uh, honestly, when you got motherfuckers that can use abilities that they shouldn't be able to, that's what annoys me. Okay. All right. New content unlocked. You've unlocked some goodies. Check the bestiary and character creator tab to see what content you already unlocked. Okay, well, this bar got, went up, so that's pretty good. 270 prestige that comes from there. Seems like you're not the chosen one. What a shame. Collect prestige for glory from the glory of Inkulinati Academy. The Academy? But I've done the basic lesson already. I'm not going to do this shit again. 
I think I quit the whole game. No, okay. I guess new journey. We'll keep it on normal. I liked I like Looney's hand being there. Uh, but we can't have the same name, so I'm gonna go with Goonie if it lets me type. Oh, that's a all right. Interesting to have have you type like that. Uh as what you call it. Ooh, okay, okay. So we need to get to prestige 500 to get new beasts to start with. But I'm going to start with the foxes because they have that advantage of not being affected by her heresy resistant. There it is. That's the actual word. Um, Let's see. That's the hit, right? Heals five damage. Or I could heal. And this is hand action. Will increase their halo level by one. So if I'm going to take the healing. I should take that. And honestly, let's see. I think healing, I have the three way healing from the Bishop character. And after that, there wasn't too much else. So. I don't know, So, because it's really going to be. Oh, did I get anything else in here? Uh, Move one enemy with a hand are moving enemies with a hand action inflicts bleeding. So that's another one that I unlocked. I don't think I started with that one. Grants four drops of ink uh, if a hand action kills a beast. See, that's the thing. I can definitely get a kill with some beast <clears throat> with this. I think I'm gonna try this out because this is the combo that I technically needed last time. So I'm gonna go with this one and then start trying to get back to where I was. So honestly, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I didn't expect to lose there, but I also really don't have time to record arts to just play through this also this gives me the free time to just play the game now because that's really what i wanted to not saying i lost on purpose but this is a dub for me overall but thanks for watching this one it's going to be a real short video when i get to putting it out so i'll see you on the next one i died in like the right after the last episode and just now got time to well not even just now got time it took me a long time to get back to where i was it took me like like six or seven attempts just to get back to this point. But now we can start making our way towards, I think the maid, the maiden or whatever her name is, something like that. I need to make sure I have enough money. Right now, I think I do have enough money to buy another quill. Cause right now we only have one life on us. So I'm trying to get to this point. One of these two missions is gonna be easier. Boredom doesn't apply here, but I don't know what my boredom's looking like. Not bad enough to need it. I have a whole different team right now. I unlocked some different stuff. So I unlocked a few more uh, starting classes, uh, I think, and a few more starting like hand actions as well. But I think I'm still stuck with most of the same. Actually, let me see because I can explain it. I think I started with the foxes. Either started with the foxes or the uh, devils, one of the two. But I think it was the foxes in this case. So I took a slightly different team to this time because I wasn't concerned about what I was trying to like. I was like, I just need to get back to where I was. So let's see. There's going to be three fights to get to this thing. No matter what, I have to win at least two of them. Uh, okay. That's going to be fucking annoying. The skeletons just showed up and I pretty much got wiped by them because they have a, a shit ton of abil abilities. The that dance macabre, uh, does five damage makes beasts lose their turns and they can't they won't stop to stop dancing use an attack or push or put a halo on the dancing creatures so they're gonna keep taking that they keep taking that damage one they lose their turn and they take five damage so damn near one shots most of my characters or what it's gonna do is it's gonna take away their ability to fight which is even worse and i think most of them have yeah Pretty much all of them have that ability. Um, they're all immune to infection and bleeding. What else was it? There's sort of a shit ton of stuff. Yeah, sorry, I just yawned hella hard. But we're here now, so let's try it out. Hopefully, you don't get wiped immediately again because that shit was annoying. Let's see. I start with this fox. I won't push it straight off. If I did do that, then this skeleton would push my guy straight off. If I push him. Now, if I uh, not that character, if I take this character and just push it and see what happens. 
Uh, oh, actually, hang on. Because this fox could kill this dude and damn near wipe out that dude. And he'll be ready to die on the next turn. And they only have these two ready. He might make that character nap and lose its turn. Let me see what you have. This one has causing dance macabre. It takes both fields at once. Uh, causes infection up to three fields away. Yeah, the skeletons just have so much shit on them, which I guess makes sense because it looks like they're supposed to be like deaths. Uh, the thing that killed our masters, uh, the our train, our teachers, um, got killed our teacher basically straight up. Okay, it doesn't make them lose turns actually. Affects two targets standing next to each other. Dexterity causes infection. I can push. I can just pray. This deals six to eight damage. I kind of have to do that because otherwise it's gonna uh it might die in the fire. I don't know if it's immune to fire. Let's see. Well, I'll see in a second, I guess. <clears throat> but I was expecting it to just in like make me lose my turn. Uh, bloated. So it's gonna explode when it dies. Uh, doesn't say it has the skeletal resistance or whatever, right? Infection, bleeding, dance macabre, and damage from tombs. Okay. So it can still burn, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Can kill this creature. It's going to blow up, though. I'm not going to be able to get it away from my guy. Oh, I could get this guy away, though, and then arrow all of them. trying to think because I want this creature gone but I don't want it to blow up between two of my creatures because it's definitely going to kill Tob Tobias is that what his name is Todd whatever um when it blows up how big is it it's usually implode upon death dealing five damage to all units within three fields within three fields I think five fields is the big one so I'll push it over there Damn, I'm sorry. The the time change really got me, I guess. We'll do that right. Then with you, we'll push the creature over that way. That way, the only person getting damage is going to be that one devil. And this devil can just kill it. Okay, that's fine. So we're able to take out, what, two of theirs? Yeah, we was able to take out two. And that's the that's what I mean by the dance macabre. That's gonna blow up. Okay. The dance macabre is fucking overpowered, it seems like. But I also realized that this game is still in uh preview, like it just got released. I thought for a second I thought it was a full game. No, it's in preview still, so there's gonna be stuff changing. I feel like this dance macabre thing would definitely have to get changed because of how much damage it does. It does damage continuously does the same amount of damage continuously uh and what you have to do to cleanse it also is kind of bullshit because look the two i think only two of them attacks and half my creatures are dead outside the explosions of course but then it even killed this one who wasn't right next to it And the only way for it to release that is to be um, the only way to release it is to be either attacked, which is going to kill it or make it pray or uh, like heal it. Not, not heal it. Um, fuck. What was it? Uh, yeah, let's see, because now that thing's too far away to do anything either. 
So I'm probably going to lose this fight because of that. Um, yeah, because I'm not going to run up to them. I'm going to make them come to me. Put some fire right there. I can stand in that fire and be fine. But yeah, the dance macabre stuff isn't for me right now. I don't well, not even for me right now. It's just clear. Like, it's not balanced. The fact that it does so much damage even after it hits, because even infection, uh, infection does like two damage after you get hit, but nothing else really does that much damage over time. Now, too, I can't make them bleed, which also is what a lot of the devil's damage comes from. So they say I want them to come to me first. Dude stood in fire, so he's going to take some damage. Oh, all right, cool. I still can't get up there. If I wait a turn right here and see if they get closer, I can. Yeah, I'll wait and see what happens when they get closer. Yeah, the range on a three three spaces away with an ability that's gonna make you take ten damage in a turn. Right, insta killed a, a, an eleven strength character as well, and I couldn't get close. And they stayed out of range until they get to me, which you know, fine, that's tactic. That's not what I'm complaining about. It's the amount of damage, and it's pretty much an insta kill, because. Unless it's unless you have your your ink with you, the uh, the little the tiny with you, them shits. Just, I'm not gonna keep fighting it over. That's another thing too. I realize you don't have to keep fighting it over and over. And here we go with more skeletons. Also have that same macabre stuff. So the bleed's not gonna affect them. The ranged attack is probably gonna be better in this case. Let's see. I could bring out the the mighty dog. I've never used them before. I think I just got them in the first playthrough that I had. Honestly, though, I don't think I'm going to keep playing this game after this video or after this attempt just because it's not enjoyable up to this point. Like trying to get back to here was shitty because everything well, not everything, not the maybe I'm not the best at this style of tactical game, but it also doesn't seem balanced no matter what difficulty you play on difficulty you play on either because playing on easy which i am right now still has you getting one shot in a turn and shit like that so it's kind of uh not it's not fun because of that and like shit like this isn't fun because it's like when i got into that fight that last fight they're doing so much damage on both sides of them so far away with an ability that's dealing 10 damage so it's gonna one shot everything but everything that i have out right now except for the mighty dog based on what happened last time because that that last devil had 11 health got hit once for f like six damage from way away couldn't heal or nothing which is fine but then it's going to deal extra damage before the daily supper comes through to give us more health all right now let's see what i got want to do here i'm gonna get a lot of uh damage in now because of that bell in the middle of where we are if i play things right i don't know why i can do more damage to that than i can this one but i don't know i'm gonna take out what i can as fast as i can none of these can attack a, a space adjacent to it so i'm actually going to start off with the this fox up here and all of them are going to get their turns right now. So what's likely going to happen is they're going to walk up and just deal with shits on the damage, actually, because I forgot who I was playing against in this one. Right. So now my dog has three health. My thing instantly died, but it got blown up. That's different. Uh, my mighty dog has 14, six, six already. And I'm already down a creature and that was the I lost down a creature and once finna die in the first move all right it's up to two spaces away pushes the target 
uh can be used every chapter and it's not like i have weak mon monsters yeah i guess monsters it's not like i have weak uh creatures on my side either it's that these ones are doing shit tons of damage every single time and from so far away right see so he can attack from there hit all both of those again with that that wasn't the ability that lets it keep dealing uh damage over time but in two hits this creature has gone from 20 to 7 health only in two hits 13 damage from only two attacks on its creatures comparatively it's about the same it is about the same but also that was 13 on the one character i dealt 13 on two characters with two attacks compared to 13 on one character that also wiped out two other characters so more than 13 damage overall probably should have gone upstairs and killed that last one but that's bloated too isn't it up there Ooh. Oh, if I don't kill that now, it's just going to move. Uh, if I don't take that out now, it's also just going to move. It's really the instantly taking out over half of my characters. No, not half, but two of my characters in the first turn. Okay, well, let's see. Still trying to figure out. Because I can kill that one down there. I'm likely going to lose this dog. And the, the fox at the same time. So let's see. I'm going to take this one out first. Just so I can try and lessen the amount of damage. And also move the dog a little further away. So maybe they won't both get hit. Okay, so you can't double up on the dance macabre, it looks like. I'll take you and push. That's going to kill prob- Oh, actually lived. They're already gone. That one's taking its turn. This one has not. Can I shoot over this? I can. So I'm going to move here first and then take that shot. Now, I don't know how much range these things have, but OK, all right. the the drastic change in uh and the strategy that these things are taking has me suspicious of what the ai is doing behind the scenes now because now it just feels like it seems like i feel like it sounds like i'm looking for stuff to complain about but now it just feels inconsistent which it's kind of like it, that's i think that's what it is everything seems so inconsistent where some stuff is doing massive amounts of damage while other stuff isn't or they'll just randomly decide to stop doing whatever they were doing uh, such high, at such high damages. So I don't know. Because rather than get the kill and like end the fight, it felt like they just started prolonging the fight. When in the last one, we saw how fast they wiped out everything. Everything was using its dance macabre immediately if it could. Did I already move with this character? I think I did. Yeah. All right, let's just work on trying to take this out then. I think it shouldn't be able to attack up and down. 
Um. Oh yeah, that's gonna kill that. So that's annoying. Didn't expect it to do that. Uh oh, I just killed this character. Oh, never mind. Okay. Whew, if I fucked that up, I I would have killed that character. I'm gonna lose that fox, and then it's gonna be. Never mind, because I forgot that blew up also. So yeah, this run is also over again. Uh, once again in 10 minutes, not 20 minutes this time. So, I'm really not going to play this game anymore, honestly. Because I spent, what, the longest time trying to get back up to this point, switch to plan on easy mode, get up to the point again, and it's two fights in a row of the exact same creatures, which didn't happen before, or at least it wasn't the same caliber of creatures dealing so much so much damage at such far range i think is really what that comes down to uh to me overall now maybe i'll have fun playing this with somebody else but let's see so we unlocked the rabbits we had rabbits and dogs to start with unlocked the foxes unlocked the exploders got the devils and then prestige of 2000 is required to get to the next spot but again it's just not fun anymore it, when it was pretty, it's a pretty cool concept overall. And I'll probably play it in my free time, but to sit here and be like playing the same shit over and over again to try and put on the channel isn't enjoyable because it's it feels more like a job and I'm not trying to make this work for myself at all. I had enough shit that I do anyways. So yeah, that's going to be it for this game. I have, another, I have a few other games already lined up to play, so there shouldn't be too well whatever i'm not gonna say shit about how much time is gonna be between them but i already know what i'm finna play next so that's gonna be all for this video and this series and i'll see you on the next one something else too that i realized about this game is that it's not a tactical game it's actually labeled as a roguelike tactical game so that's also what's different i really don't like this type of tactical game where it's like you don't get you're not getting like direct upgrades as you play i think i like road light or whatever the actual term is but anyways the game is just meant to be hard. I didn't realize that as I was playing it. I was playing it as if it was a tactical game. It's meant to be like super hard. So a lot of the complaints that I had were kind of like how the game was actually supposed to be. It doesn't feel well balanced still. Not going to say I dislike the game, but overall, as it got further in, it started to become less enjoyable. So I couldn't really mess around and try out new stuff. It was like I have to play to win. In addition, those skeletons are still just kind of bullshit overall. But that's actually going to be all for this series. I still know what game I'm going to play next, but this is me actually editing this. And I took a look at some of the stuff afterwards. This is like a week after I recorded the second portion of the video. But that's going to be all. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.